I write songs that are very personal. They they feel like they're getting more personal. Like this record feels like it's the most personal record that I've made, the most interior record that I've made. If you need it, you can take it. Recall how it feels. Now it's definitely been you. very intense this year. I find that when I'm working on something creative is when I am able to get away from it. Whatever comes in the morning Will I be thankful if it comes in the morning I try to get enough sleep. Um, I, I meditate. <laughs> uh, I, um, it's hard. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Yes. Good to see you again. And you. Great album. I love it very much. Thank you. I, I like it too. I think it turned out well. Um, I'm very proud of it. I feel like I had enough time to write the songs that I have wanted to write for for a long time. It's always hard to to find the time to write this to go as deep as I want to go with the songs, and and I had more than enough time to do that with this. Yeah, but so because of Corona. Yeah, we haven't been leaving the house, so. A silver lining has definitely been um, that I've I've been able to create a bunch of music that I don't think I would have been able to make in quite the same way without all the extra time here. I don't think of myself as writing songs that are political. I think of, um, you know, in the in the way that we would understand songs as political. You know, um, I write songs that are very personal. They they feel like they're getting more personal. Like this record feels like it's the most personal record that I've made. The most interior record that I've made. And in its way, I think because of the level of maybe vulnerability that I wanted to be present. It is political in some way. Yeah. Just just not in a it's not in an outward way. It's in a very interior sort of way. Did you feel the bad dreams of something you should know now? Little things that'll cut you down. There are many layers to the way that we put this music out into the world too, that the, the concept of the video for Sanctuary came much later than the song itself, you know what I mean? I wrote that song about trying to find a safe place in my own mind and a safe place for, for the people that I'm closest to, to, to exist and feel, feel loved, right? Um, but, you know, as you start thinking about putting music out into the, out into the world, it, it all of a sudden, it has a public component to it. And so the video for that song, um, that felt like the way to, to put that song out into the world. Feeling bad, feeling blue, can't get out of my own mind. But I know how to sing about I made about 50 programs last year with Dutch artists yeah. while being in the well, pandemic era. And about 25% of those people used the word depression while suffering from Corona, couldn't work. Uh, writing of songs sometimes was easy, sometimes very hard. While knowing that you dealt with that as well, do you have yeah. a message for those people? Um. <sighs> Or is that too much, this question? Is it too no, it's not too much, but I don't know that I have an answer for it. I mean, I, 
Um, I ha- I see. A th- I talk to a therapist um, regularly, and um, I try to be active. I try to eat healthy. Um, I try to get enough sleep. Um, I I meditate. <laughs> uh, I um, it's hard. It's tough. I mean, I don't, I don't really have an answer for that. I, I, you know, I struggle with depression too. And sometimes it's, it's really bad. It's definitely, it's definitely been very intense this year. Um, I find that when I'm working on something creative is when I am able to get away from it. Do you know what I mean? Like when I'm, when I'm working on songs, working on music, when I'm listening to music, uh, I have many, many, re- it's hard, you can't see it in here, but I have tons of records like at my feet and I'm always listening to records and I do a lot of reading. When I can get outside of my own head is probably when I, f- when I feel the furthest away from depression. Nobody say it'd be easy to say you ain't worth it. They'll say you ain't ready well, There's a new day coming We've been a long time running Put your nose to the stone You can taste it It's hard for me to talk about the meanings of my own songs because um, my, my sense is always that I have explained the emotion as, as concisely as I can in the song. And so it's not even that I'm, I'm trying to avoid explaining the song. It's more just that I have explained the song. It's in the song. <laughs> Lord, am I crying? I'm ready to try. If it comes. In the but we do exist at a time, I think, because everything exists in a, you know, the way social media works and this like sort of instant understanding, instant gratification, where it's hard for people to dedicate themselves to thinking about something for a period of time long enough to, to really gather their own deep understanding of it. I'm not saying everybody's like that, but, uh, you know, that is complicated, of course, by the fact that for someone like me, I make this art, but then I'm putting it out into the world and asking people to write about it, to listen to it, to think you about it. it. Yeah, you share so it. Of course, yeah, I share it. So, of course, they're going to come back and say, well, can you tell us more about this? It's it's a, yeah. It's a funny thing, actually, this idea of, of sort of um, commodifying art. It's, it's become stranger to me over the years, the, the deeper I go into it. Will I be thankful if it comes in the morning? Will I be grateful if it comes in the morning? If it comes in the morning. We are having our office in the same building where we did the recording years and years ago. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Still recall that moment? Yeah, was it in Hilver- Hilversum? Yes, it was in Hilversum. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that, of course. It seems like so long ago. I guess it wasn't all that long ago. Maybe 2014? Uh, it was 2014, Marm? Yep. 14. Oh, there is a refrain, huh? Okay. I cried after I saw your face. With the Amsterdam Klesma Band. Yeah, I remember. Cool, that was a cool setup. It was cool.
fiddler, take up your bow. Yeah, my brother, I know you know. If they me a song, I don't know. They had heard the music and they came up with some arrangements to a couple tunes. Um, for me, it's kind of funny because I don't read music. Um, I can convey... If, if you put me in a room with some people, I've been leading enough bands for enough years that I can usually convey what I'm looking for, even, if, even though I don't read or write music. It might take me a little longer. Yes, and hey there, brother, don't you know the road? Yes, oh, hey there, brother, don't you know the road? Yes, I was no good, but I was all alone. And a big black dog lay beside my dog. I'm a runner myself, so one of the songs on the new album is called Glory Strums, and it's about the loneliness of the long distance runner. Are you a runner yourself? Did you write because you're a runner? No, that's that title comes from, uh, there's a book about a kid who gets sent to um, juvenile hall, like a juvenile hall type thing. But, it, but it, it turns out that he's a very good runner. He becomes like their star runner. He all of a sudden is this very, you know, the guards at this place treat him better than they treat the others. The last race that he runs, it's a big race. He decides to like kind of give everybody at this institution the middle finger by by basically throwing the race. Like he's in first place and right before he crosses the finish line, as I recall, he just stops and lets everybody else beat him. The like loneliness of the long distance runner in my case, maybe it was just like, you know, me being an artist, the type of artist that I am, like, it can get a little lonely, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the feet, looking for silver bags. Just a little taste, it's so hard to find. Do you like your own songs? Do you like them? Do you love them? Yeah. I do. I mean, I wouldn't put them out into the world if I didn't love them. Um, yeah, I love them, actually. I, I think I can say that with some, with honesty. You know, my, my rule for, like, putting a song out into the world has generally been, like, I need to love this enough to be able to sing it every single night if I'm, if I'm going to have to be traveling you know, there's a good chance I'm going to have to sing this song every night. Am I, do I like it enough to do that? Am, am I going to be able to find enough breadth of emotion in the song to explore different places in it every single night? Because the meanings of my songs change to me every time I sing them. So if I feel like I understand the song perfectly um, when I write it, then it's probably not a song that is going to stick with me because it's too easy, you mm -hmm. know? It's too easy to understand and it will become, it'll be boring for me. So there always has to be some part of the songs that I write that I don't understand, that I am attracted to, but I don't totally know why. You want to move? You want to yeah, thanks for your time for now. You're very welcome. It's nice to see you again. Same here. Good to see you. See you soon in the Netherlands. Or we might come over to your uh, area as well. Great. Come on. See you, Mike. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.